So whenever I'm asked to write the linear equation of any line, forget lines that are parallel or anything, whenever I have to write any linear equation, it's in this format, y equals mx plus b. And really, m and b are my only concern. Those are the slope and the y-intercept. If I could find m and b, I would be done. I could totally fill them in and have written a linear equation. So for example, let's say they randomly gave me just freebies. They said, I don't know, the slope, the m is one-third of your line. And the y-intercept is like negative 3. I could just blindly plug my 1 third in for this m and negative 3 in for this b and I'd be done. y equals 1 third x minus 3. That is my linear equation. Everybody's happy. Totally easy. Problem is that's not, they don't usually give you the slope and the y-intercept. They give you like clues and you kind of have to solve backwards to find them. There, is a, there has to be a way to find m and b or else we couldn't do it. But sometimes they don't just hand them out right. And so when you're dealing with two lines that are parallel, the hint there is that parallel lines have the same slope, the same m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slope from my parallel line and use it for my own line because aren't the slopes the same. So here's a classic example, right? They'll say something like this. They'll say, find the equation of a line, the linear equation, equation of line that's parallel to this guy and goes through the point to six, right? And you just have to remember that my only job in life is to find m and b and i always write them on the left here with little equal signs because once i fill these in my problem is solved and now i can start with which i don't know the slope i don't know b the winers i don't know either well if i know that my line is parallel to his line his slope is obvious it's right here it's the guy attached to the x it's the m value so if his slope is two and i'm parallel to him isn't my slope also two sure enough i'm halfway done i found the slope so that was pretty easy right now, if I actually plug that back into y equals mx plus b, and you look carefully, you have y equals, I know my m now, I know this value, so it's 2x plus b. But whatever, I'm still like totally out of luck. I have no idea how to get b. I got this junk, I have this point. If I had an x value and a y value, right, couldn't I plug my x in here and my y in here and then only have the variable of b? Can I actually solve backwards for b? That's exactly what you do. A point gives you an x value, and a y value, so plug them in. This y goes here, so you have six equals two times, my x value was two plus b, and now look, we only have one variable, so six equals four plus b, minus four minus four, and you get two equals b. So now I've done, all my work is done, I know my b value here. And remember, I said, Ryan said, if you know m and you know b, you're done with the whole problem. Sure enough, we are, because look, now we can fill these values in. Right now I can just write y equals 2x plus 2. That is my linear equation of a line that is parallel to this guy, right? Parallel to him, and it goes through the point there. So that's it. You basically, you're basically stealing the slope of the guy that you're parallel to and then solving for b by plugging in x and y value. So that's it. I will give you a cool, there's one really specific um, type of problem that's basically you can like close your eyes and totally cheat. And it has to do with writing linear equations of parallel lines. So this is the most common one that we did by far. They'll give you a line, they'll give you a point, you'll steal the slope, and then you'll solve for B using the X and Y values. But here's one that's so easy, it's almost impossible. Most people get this wrong immediately because it's so easy. So now looking at this, they'll say this is the one that's so easy that it's like tricky and hard. It's You have a line that's parallel to this line and goes through this point, and your first question should be like, wait a minute, what is this? This doesn't even look like a line. This is not y equals mx plus b. It actually is. Anytime you have x equals a value, that is a horizontal line, excuse me, a vertical line. If you went to x is five, one, two, three, four, five, and put a point here, this statement x is five means x is always five, regardless of y. If y was up two, x is five. If y is up a million, x is 5. This is a constant, so you actually end up with a vertical line. If you have an equation that says x equals 5, it's a vertical line. So so what? Now what do I do? What do, what do I find for mine? Well, to cheat, I know that automatically my line, if my line is parallel to him, isn't my line also totally vertical? And wouldn't it have the same equation, x equals something, right? That's how you do this. If x is 5, is this guy, and mine is going to be uh, parallel to him. Mine's x is something as well. Then you come in here and you cheat and you say, well, what is my x value? It is 2 for this point. I don't even care about my y value in this case. That means x is 2. 
And let's see if that checks out. This would be the equation of the line parallel to x is 5. And then you come over to x is 2. Sure enough, if y is 1, x is 2, if y is 2, x is whatever. That is a vertical line that's parallel to him. So if you have x is 5 as your line, first of all, don't panic. It is a line. I know it doesn't look like this. It's not y equals mx plus b. But it is a line. It's a vertical line. Everyone parallel to a vertical line is another vertical line. Then, knowing that, we can write x equals something. Steal the x value and blindly plug it in, and you are done. Okay? Similarly, here's another one. Maybe I'll just give you a little hint ahead of time. Maybe you can do the same thing with horizontal lines. Okay, so this one is just as weird as the other one, right? We're parallel to y equals 3. Like, what does that mean? I don't have any of this information. And it goes through this point. I'll just draw again to show you graphically what this means. y equals 3 would be up here. And remember, this is a blanket statement. So no matter what x is, y is 3. If x is 1, y is 3. x is 2, y is 3. x is 10, y is 3. You end up with a horizontal line. Anytime your equation is as simple as y equals something. And now remember, if we are going to be parallel to him, we must also be a horizontal line. So we're also y equals some value. I don't know what yet, but uh, horizontal lines are always y equals a value. This is y equals some value. And because they're parallel, this is true. Now I look at my point and I say, well, what is my y, not my x? What is my y value here, right? And my y value is definitely 9. So I have y equals 9. So the, the equation of the line it's parallel to y equals 3 and goes through the point 5, 9 would just simply be y equals 9. And I know that doesn't look like a line, but you just learned something. That is a line. It's a horizontal line. So obviously all horizontal lines, let's draw that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Somewhere up here. All horizontal lines are going to be parallel. So you can do a quick cheat. And after you get good at these, you look at this and say, oh, okay, okay. I know this trick. Ryan showed me this. We're parallel to y is 3. This is our point. We are at y is 9. Done. So that's the, that's the kind of the, the weird ones that everybody gets wrong, but I, you know, now you guys are going to be good at them. And that's how you do these writing linear equations of parallel lines. Typically, it's the first situation I showed you, but those last two situations are interesting and they come up as well. So good luck in the section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video.